Hi Bowl Bakers! So I asked you on my social media, what are your favorite Ben & Jerry's flavors? And your response was crazy. You guys love Ben & Jerry's, which is great because so do I. So I compiled a top five list of your most requested flavors and we are going to make our very own Big & Bold versions of them today. So let's get started. To make today's flavors, I'm going to use my trusty two ingredient no machine ice cream. Now, for those of you who have not seen that video, it is homemade ice cream made really simply with whipping cream and condensed milk. And you do not need an ice cream machine. I'm gonna put that recipe along with everything else you see today on biggerbolderbaking.com. Okay, so let's start our countdown. Number five on our list as voted by you is Chunky Monkey. Chunky Monkey is banana ice cream, fudge chunks, and toasted walnuts. We're gonna start out in a large bowl. Add in your banana and mash it with a fork until it's nice and fine. I have my homemade ice cream base ready to go. As you can see, it's nice and thick and this is the texture that you want it. You can go ahead and add your ice cream base straight into your banana. To this mix, I'm going to add in my homemade fudge chopped up into chunks. I did some big and some small so you get nice texture. Then to top it off, we're gonna add in our toasted walnuts. Now simply just mix all of these lovely ingredients together to get your ice cream. On my Instagram, My World of Food said that this is her boyfriend's favorite flavor, but he likes his a little bit more monkey and a little less chunky. So feel free to leave out the walnuts or even some fudge, whatever you like. I like to make my ice cream look really professional, so I freeze them in these lovely little tubs. I'm gonna put a link on my website to where I got these. Fill up your container with your homemade ice cream all the way to the top. And then I like to finish it off with some homemade fudge and some more toasted walnuts scattered on the top. As always, to top off my homemade ice cream, I may as well go ahead and make a homemade sticker. And there you have it, a lovely tub of homemade ice cream ready for the freezer. It'll take around six hours to freeze and it will last in your freezer for up to two weeks, but I'm sure it'll be long gone by then. But we're not gonna stop here, so let's move on with our countdown. Number four in our countdown is my absolute favorite and probably most requested by me, and that is strawberry cheesecake. It is cheesecake ice cream with strawberries and graham cracker swirl. In a large bowl, add in some cream cheese. To make it nice and soft, give it a whisk around. Into the cream cheese mix, we're going to add in our ice cream base, crushed graham crackers, and strawberry puree. And then we're gently gonna fold them all together. I love this ice cream flavor so much that I actually would be able to finish a whole tub in one sitting. Oh, yummy. I just got a lump of cream cheese. Look at all these lovely ingredients together. You can see why this is my favorite flavor. I like to swirl some strawberry puree on the top of mine and sprinkle over a few more graham crackers. Just before you put it in the freezer, put on your homemade sticker. This guy has my name written all over him. Number three on our list is no surprise to me at all. It is fish food. It's chocolate ice cream, marshmallows, chocolate fish, and caramel swirl. I mean, what's not to love? Because this ice cream has a chocolate base, we're gonna start out by melting some good quality chocolate. Now I used dark, but feel free to use milk. The one thing you want to make absolutely sure is that once you've melted your chocolate, it is nice and cooled before you add in your ice cream base. Into our cool chocolate, we're going to add in our ice cream base. Now you want to take a spatula, incorporate these ingredients nice and quickly together because you want them both to combine really well. That's how easy it is to make chocolate ice cream. Oh, that is yummy. Okay, so to this, we are going to add in some caramel sauce and drizzle it all around. And then add in some melted marshmallows. You can also use marshmallow fluff if you can get it in your country. I don't like to mix them too much because I like to keep definite swirls. Oh my gosh, look at that. So the last ingredient for our fish food are little chocolate fish. You can always chop up a chocolate bar and just add little chunks of chocolate in there. Or if you have random stuff in your house like I do, you will have a chocolate mold with cat's face, mice, and a fish on it. I melted some chocolate and set a few in my molds. I know these are pretty big fish, but this is bigger, bolder baking. So go big or go home. Add your chocolate fish or chunks into your mixture and top it off with your caramel sauce and even more fish. This ice cream is going to be so good. Marshmallows, ice cream that's almost mousse-like and that caramel sauce. And if you like this recipe and would like to see lots more like it, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay guys, we're down to number two and there was a huge amount of requests for this. It is Cherry Garcia. It has cherry ice cream and chocolate fudge flakes. Cherries are still in season in California, so I got some lovely fresh ones and I made them into a puree. I didn't puree it too fine because I left some chunks in there as well. If you cannot get cherries where you live, you can always use an extract or some sort of a good quality flavoring. In a large bowl, add in your ice cream base. To this, we're gonna add in our fresh cherry puree. To give a complimenting flavor to the cherries, you add in fudge flakes. I just got my homemade fudge and I chopped it up really fine. Now mix these ingredients well together. 
I know people love the combination of cherry and chocolate, so I'm not surprised this was second on our list. I'm gonna to top off my ice cream with some fudge flakes, and then the cherry on top is a cherry on top. I'm really glad you guys suggested this flavor. However, we saved the very best for last, so let's pop this guy in the freezer and move on to the next one. Okay, you guys, we are down to number one, and I definitely think you made the right choice. It is rich and decadent half-baked ice cream. It has a chocolate and vanilla base, lots of fudgy brownie, and gobs of cookie dough. Now, I know what you're wondering, what are gobs of cookie dough? But that's what the ice cream says, and then I figured out what they were. They are just big, giant chunks of edible cookie dough. If you haven't made this before, the recipe is on my website. Just like before, we're going to make a chocolate ice cream base. To our chocolate ice cream, I'm going to add in some plain ice cream base, some fudge brownie, and some gobs of edible cookie dough. All you want to do is swirl all of these flavors very gently together because we want to keep all of our ripples intact. This ice cream definitely has it all. Top this amazing ice cream off with even more cookie dough and sprinkle on some crumbs of brownie. It may be called half-baked, but it is definitely big and bold. If you didn't see your favorite Ben & Jerry's flavor here today, then let me know what it is in the comments below and I'll try and make it next time. I love the five flavors that you guys picked and I really think that there is a flavor for everyone in here. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing to my channel. I'll see you back here every Thursday for more Bigger, Bolder Baking.